Angie Bray. I'm the Conservative MP for Ealing, Central and Acton. It is an absolutely wonderful project. And it, the thing that I like most about it is its simplicity. It is something that anybody, however lacking in technolo technology, like me, for instance, you know, they will be able to use this to get themselves very easily to the information they need for whatever it is that they need help on. James Morris, I'm Member of Parliament for Hales Owen and Rowley Regis. One of the reasons I'm interested in Start Here is because uh, in my constituency I was very conscious that there's a very fragmented amount of information about public health and about organisations such as delivering health services. And when I saw Start Here I was impressed with the way that it brings all of that information together into one pot as it were. So I think it's got a lot of applicability potentially to my constituents. And um, so I'm hoping that you know, we can look at how we can pilot Start Here because I'm very much committed to making sure that we get all this information in one place. You can just think of the places that you could see one of these parked, I mean, whether it's in a town hall or whether it's in another local authority office, whether it's in a prison, whether it's in a doctor's surgery, a hospital. I mean, the list goes on. There are so many places that would find something like this really, really useful. And I think that the important thing for all us here today to go away with is that what Sarah and the Start Here team need right now is support support and a little bit of interim funding so that they can finally get all the information together that they need and then start putting it together and putting it out. Alan Michael, Member of Parliament for Cardiff South and Penarth. Uh, I've been looking at Start Here over a number of years as giving access to the people who really need information and this could save the government millions of pounds, uh, money that they now spend in reaching the most vulnerable in society. If they could only get a percentage, perhaps 10% of those people help through this sort of information, they could literally save money of the order of £250 million. Simply getting to the most vulnerable in society information that they need is something that should be a major priority for central government and it would be a cost-effective priority. What we're experiencing is a really exciting digital revolution and information revolution. But what I'm concerned with, and I think a lot of people here are concerned with, are the 9 million plus people living in the UK today who, for whatever reason, are digitally and probably socially excluded. And what we mustn't do and what we can't allow to happen is to let this digital divide increase. The starter system would be so brilliant to have in our hospitals because we have so many patients who come in they're not well, they need to have more information about their illnesses, they need to know about social benefits, housing benefits, all kinds of things to help them. And at the moment, they can't get this information easily. Start Here would allow them to do that in one go, and that's what is so brilliant about this. Having spent about 25 years in the IT industry, I am incredibly aware that the power of technology to help people is immense. To all of you, here today, please, please help us to convince government, with the help of the Cabinet Office, about the next critically important stage of putting Start Here into action. I've worked within the prison system for the last 20 years, and I took Start Here to Feltham Young Offenders a long time ago. And do you know what? They got it then. And we are still waiting for it to be got everywhere else. The kiosk arrangement that Start Here has put in to, into the field is a much easier, more user-friendly way forward. And it helps, very importantly, people who have got no immediate family to support them, no immediate peer group that they trust or rely upon. So the whole project deserves to succeed in spades. We think Start Here is a great thing because it's so accessible, it's so immediate and it gets around an awful lot of the hang-ups that people have about um, stuff that's written, long, complicated and also for people who have difficulty uh, accessing the internet for example, it provides a really accessible starting point. Society has become terribly complicated and clear, objective, sensible advice is a terrific thing to have for people to lead. One of the speakers today said it's not only start here, it's start now, too right.